Hi, I'm Jessica Firm. I'm the admissions tutor at the Bartlett School of Planning. So we are a very old department. We were established in 1914, just over 100 years ago. So we're one of the oldest planning departments in the country and one of the best known and also very well known globally. We're part of a faculty of the built environment which includes the Bartlett School of Architecture and the School of Construction Project Management. So we offer three undergraduate programmes. Our oldest programme and the one which has the largest number of students on it is Urban Planning, Design and Management. We will also offer a newer programme, Planning and Real Estate, and a third programme, Urban Studies. So the three of them share core modules and core subjects. So in many lectures, all, all students on those three programmes would be sitting together. But depending on which programme you're on, you would, you would develop a specialism which you would develop more in the second and third years. If you're on the Urban Planning, Design and Management BSc or the Planning and Real Estate BSc, those two programmes are accredited by the Royal Town Planning Institute and the Royal Institute of Chartered Surveyors. So that's, in a sense, the real attraction of those two courses. For Urban Studies, it's not accredited, but it's much more flexible. So students on the Urban Studies route can take a number of elective modules across the whole university and make up their own diet over the three years. So they do take a number of core modules with their peers in the other two programmes, but they have some flexibility in the second and third years to choose modules across the university. So our three programmes all have a number of core modules and those core modules are arranged according to three streams. So one is understanding urban change, where we have our more the theoretical modules delivered through lectures. The next is delivering urban change, where we include our more practical urban design, group work and plan making subjects. And the third is managing urban change, which builds up over the three years so that in the last year you are doing an urban project and understanding how it's managed in the built environment. So one of the benefits of being situated in London, it's obviously one of the most cosmopolitan cities in the world, but we use London as our urban laboratory. So when students are doing projects, they actually go out on site in London to do their projects. And this is a huge benefit to our course. So what's really unique about this course is that we have a very strong emphasis on urban design. So we're not only looking at the theory, we're also including very practical hands-on work. In the second and third years, we will start building up graphic design skills. We'll be using a number of packages such as InDesign, Illustrator, Photoshop, SketchUp. So as well as the theoretical knowledge that students will gain on the course, they also are provided with the opportunity to develop their very vocational practical skills, such as skills in graphic design, which they can use in real life proposals that they might pitch to a client in a real life context. So we're looking for students who have a real curiosity in understanding how cities work and who want to have a hand in thinking about the future of their cities. So students can demonstrate their passion for the subject in a number of ways. It might be through the travel they've done, the books that they've read, the odd newspaper article that they've picked up that is about something in the city that really fascinates them. Often students will have had some sort of real world life experience that has triggered their interest in the subject. So if they can demonstrate that in their statement, that would make a really strong impact.